And then I'll move on to the next one. Okay, now it's time to st stop lollygagging around and go to King Caliente's Battle Fleets. Yes, this is where I start picking things up because it's less about a, less about a tutorial now as it is more about a game at the gameplay. So yeah, this is King Caliente's Battle Fleets. I'm flying through the air and I landed at the very same spot. Now, you could just go through that orange pipe bonus area that I showed you before, or just do a triple jump to get up there like that. Um, this is a, another neat little shortcut here that I found, I'm sure other people found it as well, to get up to this sling star, because you remember how to get up to that roof, don't you? Yeah. By the way, in case you didn't notice, those were little planets of water. Yes, those were all water planets. Isn't that awesome? Uh, hey, Toad, how's it going? What's the, what's the secret? Oh, so they hate coconuts, so I guess I'm gonna th th kick some coconuts at them, like so. I have to destroy this big one here. And that's all I have to do to get off this planet. And the next planet is here. And I'm pretty sure... Yep, there's a pokey. Okay, kick... You have to kick one of... Uh, spin into him and kick it into the pokey and then jump on his head while he's stunned. Or I should say in pieces. His head is the only thing that's left. That's kind of morbid, actually. Um, if you don't hit the sling star, you can go off it like this and go to this bonus area down here. All there is is a bunch of coins in here. If I'm not mistaken, you hit this thing. No, wait, it's not a bunch of coins. It's it's a uh, rainbow star. Excuse me. And then you gr you grab this rainbow star. It, it turns you invincible like a normal star in other Mario games. And you can walk around this planet. It is so awesome and collect star bits along the way, as well as coins if you would like to. Um, so yeah, that's about the bonus area. You can also kill chomps with stars. Otherwise, you can't kill chomps with any other method other than rainbow stars. Just thought I'd explain that as well. Dang you, tutorials. There is so much to teach the world. And that slows me down in my walkthroughing. Yeah, these stages usually don't take me all, oh, all that long to complete. So, uh, I, I am truly, I was truly lollygagging around those first couple stages. But that's okay. Yeah! The bullet bell! Um, some bullet bells, they home in on you. Um, so you gotta look out for them. Other bill, bullet bills just fly straight. Also pick up star bits along the way. Never forget to pick up star bits as you're flying or look for them. Oh no, it's a spooky area. Um, to kill these guys, just spin at their coconuts that they shoot at you and hit them. And hit them with their own coconuts. That'll make a bridge appear just like so. And you can also freeze some toads here. Uh, we're doing toad. Oh yeah, family guy reference. I went there. Um, uh, I, th I thought, I could have swore there was a, um, no, it couldn't be here. Um, oh shoot, what did I do? No! That's okay, I'm not too far away from where I was supposed before. I was looking for, um, a special mushroom that increases your life energy. Um, it's a, I believe it's called a star mushroom. Um, it increases your energy by three, po uh, three hits, but it only works for the, uh, stage that you're in. Obviously, I knew where the checkpoint was, otherwise I wouldn't have taken that risk of walking across that mast. Um, I just I just want to show you what the heck those things are. Or, or am I thinking that they're at the planet that King Caliente is at? Um, I'll, I'll just skip it. Well, I'll, I'll show you that, that, that kind of mushroom later. Oh no, it definitely wasn't on that ship. Um, if you shoot these things, he, I'll, well, he'll explain it. Um, if you shoot these things, these lights at the ground, um, you could also shoot other things with star bits. If you shoot them, a coin will pop out. And then, uh, where the heck is that thing? <laughs> Seriously. Well, anyway, the boss is over here. Whoa! It, just, it was just like, uh, it just turns from lava side of the of planet. I mean, it turns from dirt side of the planet to, to lava side of the planet. Okay, go to one of these bigger areas here. Avoid the fire ones. And just like those other critters that we faced earlier, you have to uh, knock his coconuts back at him. Um, no pun intended with the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, every time you hit him, you have to play tennis with him one more round. Like, after I hit him once, and I had to hit the coconut back twice, because he hit the um, uh, coconut back at me a uh, second time, uh, and now he's going to hit it a third time. But this time around, I have to dodge those little fire guys, those blue fire photo boos. Uh, but it's not really much of a problem, obviously. You can spin the kill those photo boos, if I'm not mistaken.
but they aren't very good at homing in on you, so as long as you just aim for the coconut and watch for the blue guys, you shouldn't have any trouble dodging them. And there's a star! Yay! I'm a happy plumber. Alright, now the next galaxy I'm gonna go to is one that I unlocked um, a little bit earlier with three stars. I can't get any more stars at Good A, Good A Galaxy right now. There will be more later, but I can't get any more at the moment. Um, that's what I mean about I don't know how I'm gonna do this walkthrough, because things unlock as you go. You know, go through the game, um, as you collect stars and unlock characters and stuff like that. Um, so I guess I'll just take things as I go and just show off all the footage that I made. Unless things go so horrifically badly that I'll just make a death reel of it or something as I go too. You know, that works. So this is the Mario Takes Flight. This is the Honey Hive Galaxy. A new galaxy. Welcome. And this is a very catchy tune, by the way. Listen. Oh yeah, awesome music. As I said, this game has got one of the greatest soundtracks I've ever heard, if not the greatest. Well, I'd actually say it is my favorite soundtrack. Uh, there isn't... Uh, I like Pokemon Gold and Silver soundtrack. Not the remakes, the, uh, the older games uh, soundtracks. Um, go down here for that B Mario thing. Oh, I just landed right on top of it. I wanted to give you a close-up of that mushroom. Well, I suppose I could still do that. Uh, I'm going to take a hit here. And I'm going to just give you a little... Uh, Close-up view. This is a, a mushroom. It is a bee mushroom. It is a honey mushroom. Oh, yeah uh, When you touch water You turn back to normal Mario. So don't touch water when you're in B Mario form. Whenever you take a hit You go back to normal Mario. Whenever you uh, touch water, you go back to normal Mario and, uh, and pretty much Anything will make you turn back to normal Mario that isn't of the norm. Yes, I see that. That is your castle. That is a pretty nice castle you got there. It's all honeyness. Oh, I forgot to get that one up behind that stump there. Oh, well, you've seen how to get it there. Uh, you can you can either um, fly up there, or you can wall jump. Oh, no, I, I, I guess I can't wall jump um, as a, if I'm a bee. So I guess I'll just fly up there. You can wall jump and spin up there. Um, if you're not being Mario and you're trying to stand on these flower platforms here, you'll just fly right through them. Or I should say fall right through them, not fly right through them. Flying is completely different than falling. In fact, it's the exact opposite. Yes, honey is heavy. Um, if you walk in honey, it's very sticky. It's just like that one planet that had those boulders um, way early in the game there. Uh, whoa, I just jumped off the critter's head. I forgot, I forgot you could do that to gain height uh, as being Mario. Yeah, if you're flying, flying and you jump on an enemy's head, you can gain height, as I just showed you. <laughs> and so we're continuing on this nice, beautiful planet run here. I should, I should say through the galaxy and grab onto this thing. Yes, and then fly up to these flowers here. That little dandelion-like flower there, whatever you want to call it there, um, propels you in the air. Um, just like a vine would if you were to shake on it. And, yeah, the object is to get to this sling star up here, so go ahead and do so. It's not all that hard to do, because there's no enemies up at the top or top area there. Um, and now this is where things start to get a little interesting. Um, these sticky walls here, um, anywhere that you see these honeycombs here, you can grab onto it. It's like a 2D part. It's just like that uh, 2D cylinder part that I showed you earlier, that I took forever and a half to find how to get into it. Because I, I thought it was uh, going to the bottom of it, but I was actually at the top of it. Um, yeah, so you can walk across these because you're a bee. Because that's what bees do. You know, they, they climb on honey, they make honey, and they, and they you know, they breed with the queen. That, that's how they work. Uh, they, they are quite the perverted little bugs, I gotta say. I am Mario. A, a physician? No, I'm not a physician. Well, actually, I am a physician. There's Dr. Mario. I forgot about that. Oh, no, not the most furious itchiness. I, I must find the source of it. Hey, what what are those things that are on your... Whoa, star thingies. Wait, what are you... Oh, God. Oh, this is nasty. Oh, uh, what kind of message are you telling people at Nintendo? Oh, uh, kids are going to be scarred for life by this. By the way, she is very fuzzy. At, at least it's covering things. I'm very happy that it's covering things, I gotta say. Because that is one fat girl, I gotta say. Oof. 
No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, and so there's the Sling Star. And now we're going up to the very top of here. And we meet the Toad Brigade. Yes, I knew the Toad Brigade was up here. I'll be! Oh, no, wait, I'm Mario. No, I'm okay. Oh, and yes, no, I don't have any trouble with obese people if you were worried about that. Yes, uh, oh no, they got lost with Luigi. Oh no! Ooh, I get a Power Star. Yay! Gimme Power Star, gimme Power Star. Oh, and yes, you can talk to the rest of the members of the Toad Brigade. 